Hello everyone. I previously covered linear multicodes and how to brute force them, but today I'd like to cover Linear's megacode system. Now, just for a little clarity, the receivers seen in this video, they are all labeled Camden. These are their RX-7 modules. From my understanding, Camden purchased these from Linear and rebrands them for the Canadian market. If anyone knows otherwise, please let me know in the comment section. Linear's megacode system is dated, but still widely in use today. Found in all manners of access control applications. Residential and commercial overhead doors, uh, commercial parking garages, automatic accessibility door controls, as well as entry and exit gates. Transmitters come in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging from handheld fobs like this one here, to ones that can be mounted on sun visors and vehicles, to wall switch ready versions like this one here. They can actually be plugged right into the switch to avoid running wires up to the door operator. It's worth mentioning that these RX-7 units, they can learn 10 unique codes, while the Camden RX-RG can learn 40, and their model 480C receiver can learn up to 480. Here is a example photo of a receiver in an accessibility door I recently worked on, just to provide a little bit of insight into how they're typically set up inside of an operator. Note the antenna being routed out of the top of the case. The operator's aluminum housings are really good at blocking the signals from the transmitters from reaching the receivers. Typically a small hole is drilled into the case and the antenna is pulled through to circumvent that issue. The protruding antennas make identifying an RX-7 module quite easy. They're always thin white wires with a small black tip. Here are a couple photos of some exposed RX-7 antennas that I've spotted in the wild. Unlike Linear's multi-code system, the setup does not use dip switches, like you can see here, to set the code. Rather, the receiver learns the specific code sent by the transmitter after programming it in. Each transmitter comes pre-programmed with, according to the manufacturer, one of over one million possible codes. The lack of dip switches, coupled with a large amount of codes, means a brute force attack isn't exactly feasible. The megacode system uses the frequency of 318 megahertz. The signal sent from the transmitter uses ASK modulation and contains 24 bits of data. One sync bit, 16 bits for the remote code, 4 bits for the facility code, and 3 bits for the data bits, which indicate the channel or button used. All of this will be something you'll be able to see after capturing the transmission with the flipper. So presently this module is powered via a 24 volt power supply, and currently it has no remotes programmed to it. Meaning, pressing these buttons will do absolutely nothing. Pressing the program button will put it into the learning state. At which point remotes can be programmed to it. It's a very short window. Now that the transmitters have been learned, pressing the button will activate the relay in the receiver, which you can hear quite clearly. The red LED indicator will also illuminate upon activation. A little bit of a side note, the instruction manual says holding this for more than five seconds will erase all the remotes. I found that to be untrue. In most cases, it takes about 15 to 30 seconds. So now that we know how this system works, let's go ahead and do a replay attack. So we will open up the sub gigahertz app, select read, already set to 318. Megacode is a known protocol 
You don't need to worry about capturing and replaying raw data. All the information will be decoded by the flipper. And there it is. So we'll go ahead, hit send. And there we go. Simple replay attack. So kind of a long video for just a simple replay attack. But I think it's important to know how these systems function and how they're integrated um, to really understand what you're doing. And uh, I hope maybe you learned something from this. If you have any questions about the content of this video or you have any requests for other Flipper Zero content, please let me know in the comments section. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.